The mother of four battling cancer horrified over having to find a place to live after a massive water main break floods her home. Let's get out to Fox 30 and problem solver Shaw Turner in Denver live now with how you can help Shaw. Well, this family is really struggling tonight, and an investigation shows that Denver Water is not responsible for this water main break. What happens is weather and wear and tear can affect these water mains, but take a look at something considered to be horrifying for this family. It's like living on the street like our, the rest of our homeless population. It's been a rough road for Corinna Gonzalez and her family. She's battling cancer, recovering from surgery wherever she can. Having the surgery, not having somewhere to come home and fully recover correctly, and then going from hotel to hotel. Tonight, she, her four children, and other family members will sleep in this RV. It's cold at night, like really cold. Less than 20 feet away from the home she owns, no one dares sleep inside. And you can't because everything's contaminated. The problem solvers capturing this video of damage and decay left behind by flooding caused by what the family says was a water main break on March 6th. Ooh, I don't like the smell down here. They say Denver Water provided them with hotel rooms twice during the repair process, but mud and mold remain, leaving the home unsafe. Because we ran out of funds for hotels, um, I've had nonstop migraines. Um, my daughter started bleeding from her nose, so we tried to just stay out of the house, period. Now the family just hopes to have their home repaired so they can live a normal life, and so Corinna can get the rest she needs to continue fighting for her life. I'm not stressed about where we're going to eat or what's going to happen. Well, Colorado law doesn't actually require water companies to provide compensation when it's found that they are not negligent. However, Denver Water's assistance program was able to provide the family with a degree of compensation and also restoration services, but they, have a, they don't have a hotel to stay in any longer, but they can't go into the house. That leaves them in a pretty bad position and they need help. So head to KDVR.com where we have a GoFundMe link set up by friends where you can have an opportunity to help this family. Salterner reporting live in Denver, Fox 31. All right, Shaw, thank you.